what do you think of absent and what is it that you really liked about the film? Um, I think we all need to celebrate and support, first of all, short films and really support directors who are experimenting, who are telling different stories, who through their work have that social conscience and all of this will only survive when there are more viewers, when there are more people who will, you know, watch them and sort of endorse them and encourage them. So I think it's absent is in that line of short films that are now coming out and I guess that's where, why we are all here. Any difficulties in particular why when you were shooting this film because you know it has to be one day? The whole uh, debate between that is really about how long can you keep your eye on that character or that screen. There's something Walter Murch says. He summed editing down into it the cut being on the blink of an eye. So, so I just thought with this particular story, I, also I was spoiled because I wrote it with Vikas in mind. I've been wanting to work with him for a long time. And I knew he would be able to do it. As, as an actor, how are you able to emote so strongly for 29 times, particularly when it's a one-take shot? I line it up to be hanged. I mean, who has seen me, I have seen pocket films, but as an actor, I don't get that liberty. I just show you the tool and start the bathroom and start the bathroom. Then, of course, it's a short film. So, I mean, you have just that much time. So, in that the camera and everything, you know, you were just working out everything. The noose was uh, the most difficult thing. It, so, how long did this shot take? How many hours? And so, how did you maintain your mental composure? And how, many, how much gap was there between those 29 takes? Means how did you prepare for was, the... I think we were just going one after the other. Yeah. We didn't take any break. I think just one odd break, I said, ki, uh, like I was not drinking any water or anything. I wasn't water or anything. So I said that I will drink a cigarette, you know, just generally. So take after take, it's a monotony thing. So I thought, that let's just, but yeah, I mean, we just kept at it. And, uh, I, and nothing like what kept me going, I don't think so much. Railway trains and buses, they can show these short films in them and more publicity will come. Uh, taxis, we've shared our content with the TV show I already told you about. So we are putting this content out. So, I mean, the core job, job at Pocket Films is actually to take the content created by these filmmakers and put it out there. Reach it out, you know. The whole idea is if you can't get the audience, reach out to where the audience is. Get the content to them. People will like it and then they'll come back because they like the content. And just do short films and still be able to make a decent living. Is that a possibility that you envision? You know? The objective at Pocket Films is to ensure that short films making can become a full career we're not yet there but that's our end that's where we want to get where we can pay back to the filmmakers as much and they can make it into a full-time career